Hello and welcome back fellow PowerShell engineers. Now we're going to talk about variable data types. So PowerShell has a variety of types of variables and PowerShell is intelligent enough to determine what the type of a variable is when the variable is set. So you don't have to do anything special when you set the variable. So, so far we've mainly worked with string type variables, but we're also going to take a look at integers, floating point variables, which are basically decimals, and booleans or bools, which are true false values. So just to demonstrate how easy it is to change the type of, vari of a variable, let's make one called var1. And we'll set the value to SpongeBob. And that would be a string. Now let's just reset it right away to var2, var1. Let's just set it to the value 2, an integer. Okay, now we can just reset it to 2.1, which will be a floating point. And we can reset it to again. So, as I already noted, you've been working with strings quite a bit already. And anytime you set, uh, you were setting the fave character variable earlier, you were telling PowerShell that the series of letters inside the double quotes was a string. It's also worth noting that PowerShell can set variables with single quotes and work with strings and variables the exact same way. So we could just turn around and set this back to SpongeBob with single quotes. That's also a real key thing uh, when you're working with scripts out in the wild. You might see people interchange the double and the single quotes. But what we can do is use a get type method and to to evaluate the value of the of the uh, or the type of the variable, so we can do that right now just by doing a dot and then get type, and we see that we get back a string. Now, if we go back and set this to true, so I'm using my command history here to save on typing. I'm just pressing the up arrow key. We'll see that I get a boolean. <clears throat> And if we go back and set it to a float, we get a double, which is a type of float. And if we go back and set it to an integer, see that we get an int32, int which is a type of integer. So it, it's important to be aware of these different types, depending on what kind of scripts you wind up writing. Um, but it's also important to be be aware of the get type method because this is how you can validate this. Um, say if you're wanting, if you're collecting user input, which we'll get to later, or variables are getting set a certain way, and you want to make sure they were set correctly, you could use this get type method uh, to ensure that they were set correctly. So, well, guys, that's about it for data type or variable types and data types. Let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson.